Hi, my name's Marissa. And my name is Val. And we're gonna take you to a tour of our school. Come on, let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Alyssa Gonzalez. I'm the principal of Palm Academy. Uh, we are a TK through eighth grade, five day a week program. We specialize in personalized learning, but we also focus on social emotional learning and the academic levels of each individual child. Our mission and vision here at Palm Academy is to foster a love for learning so that students thrive in their learning environment and they continue to be lifelong learners. I have an awesome opportunity every year to see young kids in the sixth grade come into the middle school and then in that same time I get a chance to see the eighth graders transition to high school. So I, I love what I do here. I love the opportunity to see that transition coming in. We nurture hearts and minds here at Palm Academy by checking in with our students daily. We confer with them, checking in to see if they are progressing in their skills, but also just checking in and monitoring whether or not they're having a good day or not. Connections are really important to establish between teacher and student. I believe that uh, once you're able to make that connection, students are able to have a more intense uh, academic experience. You have to have the student know that you value them as a human being. And so I really always try to start there, that I value you as a human being, I value where you come from, uh, what you represent, and hopefully there's an exchange and they value me too. Um, I'm Julia, my favorite thing about the school is my teachers learning about things and showing people the world and getting to know people. I've been here for uh, about a year. My name is Landon Sterling. Uh, I love the school because you can sit wherever you want. What I like about the school is math. I am in fifth grade and what I love about the school is the teachers are nice and I have fun here. So personalization is really understanding who our learner is and what their interests are. Really getting to know them and their likes, their dislikes, but also what really drives them and motivates them to learn. Some of the ways that we nurture some of the different modalities is really to give them opportunities to express themselves in different ways. So for example, if somebody is very much a kinesthetic learner, we give them opportunities to be physical during rigorous PE activities. We partnership with the Boys and Girls Club so they have access to a large space where they could explore. We also offer the arts um, through extracurricular activities, but we also integrate the arts in the classroom. I have an opportunity several times a year to uh, design a personalized plan with each student. And what's really rewarding for the student and I is to see them work towards those goals and accomplish them. We're all about mastery here at the Palm Academy. Mastery is when I take a student who has a particular deficit and then I'm able to show that growth over time. And mastery is when they're able to generalize those skills and show it in the classroom and in their curriculum. You see a lot of the arts infused, you see a lot of the creativity, um, things that are kind of missing from schools that take the joy out of it. I think that gives this school a niche. I love my job. I work in small groups uh, in Mrs. King's classroom and we support the teacher. So an ACE is an assistant classroom educator and we have each classroom here, um, we're all multi-age classrooms. Each multi-age classroom has an ACE in the classroom with the teacher. The assistant classroom educator assists the teacher but most importantly is there for the student. Es muy importante uh, también tener, poder hablar el español porque tenemos muchos padres en la comunidad uh, que no hablan el inglés o en veces nos hacen preguntas, les podemos explicar muy bien en español uh, de lo que los maestros le están ense enseñando a los estudiantes. Our classrooms are multi-age. It's beneficial to all of our learners here because students have the opportunity to become leaders if they are older. Um, when they're younger, they have someone to look up to. If they have um, older students in their class, they can look to them as mentors. This is my son, Mario. He's in the fifth grade. This is my son, Micah. He's in the third grade. Um, together, they're actually in the same class, which is really cool which is actually one of the best parts I like about them going to the school. Um, they're fairly close, they, um, they can count on each other, and because most of the kids have gone here for such a um, long time, they've become a little family, so they all help each other and we all know each other as moms and as students, so it's been fun. 
we do offer them targeted learning groups. So a small group setting, a small group environment for them to continue to practice those skills that they need to, to get them to that next level of mastery. So for example, if a student is really needing help with phonics, let's say, um, a particular sound, we spend a week or so perfecting those skills and we quiz them at the end of the week to make sure that they're ready to move on and that they have mastered those skills. When we started the school year last year, she was in the fourth grade level for math and she is now just on par with almost sixth grade level, so we've actually improved two times. At Palm Academy, we believe the environment is the third teacher. We believe in real-world application. So we offer a lot of field trips. We invite experts in to provide opportunities for students that they may not have otherwise. We go to the Living Desert, which is nearby. We also go to the McCollum Theater here in town. But we also have gone whale watching. At Palm Academy, we love the children that we serve and we love the community that we serve. Families here are a testimony to what we do. He struggled at any other school he's been to because um, he's, he's really quiet but he's a really smart kid and he came here and Miss King challenged him and challenged him and he found out that basically he just he's like a math whiz. He loves math. One of my main jobs as a middle school teacher is to set a great academic foundation but I also believe that how they come out on the other side as a human being is just as important because they're not only going to take those values and the things that they've established as a human being back to their family, but they're going to take it back to the community and hopefully one day become a leader in the community. I love each and every one of the students here at Palm Academy. I want them to all reach their fullest potential, but not only that, feel welcomed and safe every day that they come here.